Here's my Craftsman DLS 3500. Power washed. Runs great. I tried uh, Simonize compound, rubbing compound. Tried wax. Didn't get it off too well. So what did I use? Automatic transmission fluid. Works like a charm. So, uh, the only thing that I need to do now to complete this project, I mean, God, it looks great, doesn't it? It's a seat cover to cover that mess. Only cost 10 bucks, guys. That's right, Leo. Leon, this is the one that you sold me for 50 bucks. All it need, needed was some TLC and some repairs. This thing's good as new, man. So I've got my nephew mowing the lawn at my mom's house. This is the Craftsman 13.5. Still works pretty good at my mom's house. Really easy to use. It's that lever. Backwards. Forwards. That easy. No foot pedals or nothing. It's got the bagger system. And this is the only lawnmower that actually makes it into the backyard. It's only like uh, 38 inches or 40 inches max, you know. Even if I brought my 42 incher over here, it would scrape the sides. It wouldn't be, it'd be tough to get around the corner there too. So this thing actually works good. Hey guys, it's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. It's uh, one of those days, you know. Um, some guy had this uh, Scott riding mower uh, that was listed on the Facebook marketplace. It's a Scott's lawn tractor made by John Deere. It's one of those, yeah. 17.5 horsepower, 42 wide. Used to be a Kohler Command 17. Anyway, so the guy wanted, uh, I don't know, he had it up there for like $35. And then he lowered it at $28, and uh, I wrote him, and I says, hey, I'll come get it for free if you ever decide to check it out. And he goes, come and get it. So I would only come and get it if it was worth it for me, you know what I'm saying? So it was in Huntington, where I live. It wasn't far at all. It was like five minutes. So uh, my brother is actually in town. That's right. Uh, mowers and Blowers 2. Uh, he was in town, and uh, we're actually going on vacation soon. And... Uh, that's my bro and my mom. So he came to visit, you know, and the uh, place was not far, like five minutes. So I told my brother, I said, hey, you want to come with me on a pick? He's like, all right. So we drove about five minutes, five, seven minutes, got to the guy's place. He was just like me. He had a couple of dune buggies. He had riding mowers everywhere. And uh, so um, he just gave this thing for, to me for free. Obviously, maybe he wasn't, but the guy who got rid of it didn't want anybody else to benefit from it because he felt bad about throwing it out. You know, that's usually why you would take spray paint and do that to the seat because he didn't want anybody else to use it, you know, some somebody selfish like that. And, uh, you know, he spray painted the thing here and there and, you know, just so nobody else could use it, you know? So the spiteful... Oh, ready? Here, look at that. He purposely slashed tires so nobody could use it. That one actually looks okay. This one slashed and the front one actually looks okay. But anyway, so the deck is still good. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this. Actually, I, I qu I'm questioning myself why I even got it. You know what I'm saying? But I, when I looked at the picture, I said, alright, well, I could use the hood, I could use the lights, I could use the push bar, I could use the rims, the wheels, the deck, the, you know, <laughs> that. I could use that. I could use the quadrants. 
you know gas tank transmission uh, height shifter I actually just bought one of those damn things too <clears throat> that was for Pete Lombardi's Husqvarna didn't have one so I actually bought one for like six bucks last week if I only knew no battery no engine got the headlights in there the uh, cowling look at this 307 hours. That's not very much. I'm wondering why this is even lit up. It's got no battery. There's no battery and the light and LED lights on. It's got it's a little internal internal battery in there. Anyway, I don't know. So uh, I'm going on vacation in a, for a week, you know, and so I'm just parking this in the just parking this in my backyard because I literally have no other place to put it. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this right now. I guess uh, I'll think about it while I'm in uh, the Bahamas. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, so I couldn't move this anywhere, so I had to drag it um, with my brother steering, you know, with my other mower, and we dragged it from the driveway on the street from the garage. I used those tow ropes and hooked it up to the winch of my uh, Murray with the white walls and uh, I dragged it from here all the way to the back. I hear some water sounds around here. Why is my tire leaking for no reason? Anyway, I don't know what's wrong with that one, but just out of nowhere it started leaking. That's strange. Anyway, I've just got too much shit, guys, and uh, look. I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing, but I couldn't resist. It was free, you know? Retarded. Anyway, man, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.